It was an emotional and private ceremony that touched those who watched the Kennedy motorcade silently pass. He had a wonderful future. We'll all miss him. We wanted to come down and just get some closure. They're too young, so it died. It's, it's awful. It's a tragedy. The Kennedy family, including John's sister, Caroline, Uncle Ted Kennedy, cousins Maria Shriver and William Kennedy Smith, made the trip to sea aboard the USS Briscoe. It comes as no surprise that John Kennedy Jr. was laid to rest at sea. At times, it seems he was born on the water. Images like this are part of the country's collective memory. Carolyn Bissett's mother, Ann Freeman, joined the Kennedys at sea. Yesterday, her grief was palpable as she planned the memorial service at this Connecticut church for Lauren, who has a twin sister. A woman mentioned she'd just given birth to twins. Mrs. Freeman reportedly said, I used to have twins. And now there's new information about Carolyn Bissett Kennedy's final day. Last Friday, she shopped at New York's Saks Fifth Avenue for a dress for Rory Kennedy's wedding. This is the $1,600 dress she reportedly picked. But on that day, witnesses said Carolyn also expressed concern about flying with John because he just had his cast removed. Meanwhile, preparations continue for Kennedy's memorial service in New York. Media are said to have offered as much as $10,000 for area apartments. But because the president and first lady will attend, cameras are banned from the windows. And finally, this touching memory of John Kennedy Jr. The photographer who took this loving photo of John and Carolyn just two months ago received a personal note from Kennedy in response to the picture. Thank you very much for sending the photograph of Carolyn and me. I would have been embarrassed to ask for it, but I'm most grateful that you sent it over. It's lovely and we're glad to have it. Signed, John Kennedy. Photographer Tyler Mallory believes the note displayed Kennedy's caring nature. What a fine example of an insight to the, the real nature of this true gentleman. Friday, around 8.15 p.m., Kennedy's love for flying took him here, Essex County Airport in Fairfield, New Jersey, where Kennedy kept his single-engine red and white Piper Saratoga. Today, a stunning report claims that Kennedy was concerned about making the flight at night and equally concerned about landing at Martha's Vineyard Airport. He reportedly said his wife, Caroline, was insisting they drop her sister, Lauren, off in Martha's Vineyard. The same report quotes Kennedy as saying that he was concerned about landing twice because he was not that experienced a pilot. Friday night at 8.38 p.m., Kennedy took off from runway 22. He reportedly intended to leave earlier, but Lauren Bassett was delayed at work. We made the same trip as Kennedy. As first officer, Mark Rado described the potential problems. I'm having a very difficult time seeing uh, where the land is and where the water is. This is true. This is what we call, what we would call a featureless terrain. This is what he would be faced with uh, coming into or out of the water like that. Uh, it's a uh, pretty frightening prospect when you're not, not that experienced, I would think. Oh, yes. On the night Kennedy disappeared, reports say a local fisherman saw a plane, possibly Kennedy's, flying around 40 feet off the water. That was me. He had uh, no sense of horizon. He was looking into uh, pitch black out here. Uh, thought he was higher than he was and ended up trying to level off too low and maybe, uh, you know, uh, didn't, didn't make it. At 9.39 p.m., about one hour into the flight and about 10 miles outside Martha's Vineyard, according to radar, Kennedy's Piper dropped from 2,500 feet to 1,800 feet in just seconds. What possibly would have happened? Pilot Steve Kahn showed what could have gone wrong inside Kennedy's cockpit. He might have been um, looking, and as he's looking, he's turning the yoke. He's turning the yoke, he's in a turn, and he's just looking uh, to see something on the ground, and what happens is he accidentally just might give it some forward pressure. Well, very quickly, the vertical speed indicator is going to start indicating uh, a downward trend, and next thing you know, he could have been in a dive. John F. Kennedy Jr. was due to arrive on runway 6 of Martha's Vineyard Airport at 10 p.m., but pieces of debris found floating at sea have led many to believe that this was a violent crash. Hitting the water at that speed or hitting the ground is really the same. Uh, it's like going into cement.